How's it going guys? Just want to make a quick video today. I uh, just got a chance to start working on this engine a little bit, just trying to sort things out, figuring out what's good, what's bad, what needs any kind of work machining wise, or um, if it did or didn't. Um, so I just want to make a quick video today. I'm um, actually going through um, how to check your cylinder head for warp. Um, you only need a couple things to do it, one of which just set of feeler gauges. You can get these at any auto parts store, um, along with a nice machinist straight edge. This one happens to be aluminum. It was probably about 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's about 24 inches long. It's a little short for checking these cylinder heads, but the surfaces that matter are less than 24 inches. So, um, you can do it in parts. You can do the major surface all just with this guy. Um, and then if you want to check any of the other warp, all you have to do is shift it about an inch or so over, and then you can check that as well. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Um, so we will go ahead and get started. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the straight edge laid across the cylinder head. Um, it's cleaned up pretty well. I just used a little bit of acetone and um, to clean up any of the oils and stuff that's on it, and then go ahead and took WD-40 and just kind of wet it down, try to loosen up some of the stuff and then just a regular straight blade. And you want to make sure that you don't lean it forward at all because it will scratch it. So you want to kind of lean it back and then just very gently uh, scratch it, or not scratch it, but drag it against the surface just to get up all the baked on gasket material. Can't really see it that well in the camera. It is stained a little bit, but you can feel it. And you can drag your fingernail across a couple places and you can tell that it's smooth and that it's just stained. But so once you've got all that um, done, then you just take your set of feeler gauges here. Um, the spec for these engines is roughly about uh, 6,000 6, thousandths um, per the BMW manuals that I've got and then per the dealership instructions that I've gotten from friends. But so we go ahead, I'm going to start with a three mil or three thousandths. Um, so it's 0.076 uh, millimeters. Um, so this head, I actually could tell immediately when I set the, this down, it kind of wobbles back and forth. So I already know it's high in the middle. So what I'm going to do then is just push very lightly right in the middle of it. And then I can take my feeler gauge and just kind of try to slide it under each, each side. And you can see that that doesn't go under there. At any of these places here so I can check the whole length of the head and pushing down there I have less than three thousandths of warp through the center of the head now you want to do multiple different angles so that way you can tell if the head's twisted if the head is warped from one end to the other more like banana or if it's twisted side to side um, so then you'll just go ahead and do the same thing that I just did this way you can tell it's a little more stable. If I tap on it, it doesn't rotate around the middle like it did. Um, but then you're gonna do the same thing. You just take your 3000 feeler gauge and everywhere the machinist straight edge touches, you're gonna wanna tap under as flat as possible. Just make sure that that feeler gauge doesn't go under, which it doesn't in that direction either. So we're good in that direction. And we'll do the same thing this way. So then, this way we can kind of tell that it's warped again in the middle um, just because it plays across the middle there but with the 3000 feeler gauge again it doesn't slip under anywhere so that means we've got less than 3000 warp from one end to the other which is pretty good over this long of a head um, but as I was saying the head's a little longer so this surface right here that the timing chain goes through here and then this is actually a water jacket for the pump the pump sets about right here um, if you need to check that, like I said, you can just shift it a little bit and you can tell it's just a little bit off down here. Um, but doing the same thing with that 3000 feeler gauge again, press down right there. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of stick, but it doesn't go under. So that means it's less than 3000 there as well. So, um, this head is actually good. Um, I'm probably going to use this one as is. I might try to clean up this uh, staining a little bit better, but as far as the warpage, it's all good. 
Let's say you can kind of see on here that it's a pretty finely machined surface. It's guaranteed within a thousandth of an inch. So even if that feeler gauge was wrong, there'd only be max four thousandths run out from one end to the other. Um, so yeah, say so that's what I need to know about this engine. So that means I can reuse this head once I do a little more cleaning. I'm gonna check the valves. Um, Check the valve stem heights, make sure that the keepers are still doing their job and they're not worn out, same thing with the retainers. Um, and then once all that's done, I uh, just clean up all this oil and stuff that's on here and go ahead and get it all prepped for reassembly. But I did already check the block off camera. It's it's made of cast iron, but I checked it. It's less than a thousand to run out. I didn't, couldn't even get a feeler gauge that I have under there. So it tells me that's all right. Um, same thing with the block, prep the surface with the razor blade like I did this one. Try not to scratch it, which I was pretty successful, surprisingly. Um, but other than that, I'd say this has been some progress for you, so you know I am working on it. I did get, actually I'll show you this. Got the head gasket finally, so I've got a cut ring, uh, J uh, Pro Seal, I think it's called, and a copper cut ring gasket in there and then also another cylinder head that I was contemplating using but since this one checked out fine I'm gonna go ahead and use this one as is because it's already assembled as long as everything measures properly and looks the way I want it so thanks for watching and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and there will be some more updates coming in the future as I gain parts which I've got quite a few quite a few more parts collected than I did last time. But again, thanks for watching. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.